Parents, teachers, and students rallied outside Muskegon Heights Academy tonight to protest against the company in charge of the district as a teacher shortage continues. News A's Byron Tollefson spoke with teachers on the front lines at Muskegon Heights Academy. It's been a hard year for Muskegon Heights Academy, and teachers and students say it's only getting worse. Let's go, Tigers! Let's go! Muskegon Heights Academy students led tonight's demonstration, holding signs reading, We Need Teachers Now. But it's not just teachers leaving the district. Katie Captine, who teaches English to 7th through 9th graders, says many students are leaving too. Unfortunately, our enrollment continues to drop drastically. It's becoming more and more of an urgent situation. Uh, our students are going to other districts now. And so we're having a mass exodus of not only students, but teachers. Captain says a teacher shortage that has been going on all year is only getting worse. Right now, she says there are only five certified teachers and five substitutes plus another substitute for special education. Making things worse, some are leaving over the next two weeks, leaving the academy with just three certified teachers for hundreds of students. I've asked numerous times how few staff members can we have to run the school? And that's the issue we're facing right now. We can't lose any more. That's why Captain brought together students and parents outside the school tonight to call for the removal of new paradigm for education, the firm in charge of the district since July. If we're losing these numbers of students and staff, it has only happened under their oversight. It has not improved at all from them being here. The Public School Academy Board has given new paradigm until early next month to make changes or it could be held in breach of contract, potentially cutting off future payments. It was wonderful. That's Seth Roberts, a brand new teacher who grew up in Muskegon, who had his first day today. He substituted at Muskegon Heights and other districts years ago, and he just left a factory job to join the school full time teaching social studies. It was best for me to come to a school district that needed me because I could have been in any school district. There's a lot of school districts that needed a teacher. I could have stayed working in a factory, but I wanted to come here because I know that I have the certification needed and and that they would really appreciate it and it ended up being exactly what what it was. Robert says he came to make a difference. There's people that care that want the school to still to thrive. You know, I don't want the school to go. I, I think that'd be a terrible thing for the students, for the families. But he says he needs help. Please, please come to Muskegon Heights and you'll love it. It's, it's a really great place to teach these kids. I don't think you'll understand how much they would appreciate you until you came here. New Paradigm CEO has acknowledged it's been difficult to get teachers to come to Muskegon Heights and said it's a long path to make things better, but he believes they're up to the task. Captain says students are struggling right now. The current seniors at the school have been through three different charter management companies over the last few years, and she says all of the changes have held back their learning.